You know, there's this misconception that people think great leaders, great entrepreneurs, great creative people are this larger-than-life personality, charismatic, you know, just when they come and they light up the room. But today I'm going to make a case to you introverts out there why some of the possible greatest entrepreneurs and thinkers were introverts. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. So introverts, if you're an introvert, today it's all about you. And I know introverts love attention. They love compliments. They love it when we give them all the attention, don't they? As a matter of fact, what they don't like is introverts kind of want to be left alone a little bit. But let's dissect how introverts are from my experiences as well as reading some papers on this. Number one, they have zero problem with other egos coexisting with them. Very comfortable. They can work in an environment and people with big personalities, big, big egos, massive egos, have a very comfortable time working with them. Wozniak worked with Jobs. Jobs had a massive personality. Wozniak was an introvert, but it worked out very well. Number two, they lead from back. When you lead from back, they allow other leaders to be developed, which means for them, leadership development, which is a big part of building a big company, comes very easy because so many people get the credit when they're working around them. They don't need all the credit. So when this happens, people's identity around them is always elevating when you work with an introvert. Number three, they're comfortable being alone, and this edge that they have on being comfortable being alone allows them to be patient, calm, and focus more because a lot of time when you start a business or you're a salesperson, if you can't be comfortable being alone, you can't do proper research, you can't be focused on your next project, you sometimes overwhelm yourself with non-existing issues where they're okay in that area because they enjoy their own company. Number four, great listeners, which means they ask the right questions. And if they ask the right questions, they end up solving the right problem that optimizes the chances of increasing the company. So it's the right questions they ask that leads to the right answers. Number five, they do well with extroverts. You're going to want to do well with extroverts. Introverts have no problem doing well with them because to them, they look at extroverts and saying, oh, wow, I can never be like that person. It'd be great to team up with them. That's how they look at it if I can team up with an extrovert. They're very, because people can coexist with them, they have an easy time doing good with extroverts. This is why they end up finding people like Jobs. Uh, six, more logical uh, which means they're rational, which means risk is not like the crazy biggest risk they'll take. They'll be a little bit more methodical about their next move they're making because they're rational, logical. They're better thinkers, typically, these introverts. Number seven, since they're not the center of attention, they see things others don't, meaning body language. So imagine you're sitting in a room, and introverts are typically just kind of sitting there quiet. They're not really talking, saying anything. Everybody else is talking, pitching their ideas, all this other stuff. And 95% of the time, they're not doing anything. And when they are talking, they're typically asking a question. So guess what they learned? They officially learned about everybody in a room. Seven people gave answers. They learned who doesn't like who. They learned who's trying to get what from who. They learned who's the most influential person here. They learned who's full of it. They learned who's not respected in the room. But they learn about everything in the room because they see things that others don't see because they do not need to be the center of attention. Number eight. They're more trusting. Anytime you deal with an introvert, you typically trust them more. So it's easier to raise money, easier to sell something, easier to get people to want to team up with you because you're trusting. Number nine, overly prepared because they look at things and say, we know what if that happens and what if this happens and what if that happens and what if this happens, what if this happens. Okay, great. As long as I have this kind of stuff in place because they don't like to be humiliated because they are overly prepared. Great. I'm scored away because they're typically overprepared. All right. So last but not least, they're also very self-motivated because they sit there. Once they get clear on what they want to do, they may be a little bit more technical. They may be a little bit slower on making their decisions. But what, once they do, you don't need to motivate them. They're going to figure out a way to get the job done because they don't want being alone to solve problems. They're pretty logical and rational in the next step process they come up with, and they're typically self-motivated. So having said that, today's episode was to introverts. If you're watching this and you're an introvert, yes, this is you and you have a very high chance of winning because you're in great community with people like Gates, Einstein, Zuck, Buffett, Musk, Suze, George Washington, and many other names. So today's episode was for you, but if you're a type A personality and you're wondering how you're wired, Here's a video I did for you guys, I don't know, six months ago, 12 months ago. If you've never watched it, click over here. And a video I made four or five years ago on four different personality types and how to work with them. That link is over here. Click on this one to watch it. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.